Oh, so Stern. should I not put this Hershey, this um, Reese's? <laughs> It's a violent podcast. Okay. <laughs> this podcast has one rule, and you have 15 minutes to figure out what that one rule is. Mm. This is the Inconsistent Podcast. I'm Rob Hayes here with Marie Faustin. I am. Ooh. Eating some uh, Reese's mm -hmm. a, a piece. Mm -hmm. A Reese's piece. One Reese's piece. Yeah. A Reese piece. I think it's dark chocolate. It's all in my mouth. Ooh. They said there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. There might be a wrong time, and that's when we're starting. <laughs> 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 Rob, you ain't shit. <laughs> That's consistent. <laughs> yeah, no, the whole brand of this podcast is it's inconsistent because then people can't hound me for putting it out because it's called inconsistent. Okay, so you, you drop one every other third. It comes out when it comes out. You'll get it when you'll get it. Okay, you sound like Rihanna talking about the album. It comes out when it comes out. Do you think we'll ever get that album? Now that she's had baby, I think that she has music that she's recorded that she never released. That they could just like you know, hodgepodge it together. You know, they still putting out pop smoke albums and yeah. Tupac and Biggie things. So like, they got it. They have fully recorded things that probably like she didn't like for whatever reason that they can just throw together. Have you ever seen Rihanna in concert? No. It's more for like for you than her she's not making fans out there well she has she's out fans. there and you you're like i'm happy that i i got to see this person that made these things that i love but it's not like you're like well now i see why they chose her to do this <laughs> you know no but rihanna makes fun music she's like you Great. know, it's stuff that you can listen to in your car. It's stuff you can listen to when you scrub in your tub. It's good for smoking or having sex, too. The music is for that. Live, I don't need to see it. <laughs> when I'm DJing and I get in my Rihanna bag, it's hard to get out. It's right. hard to transition out because I'm like, I have like 38 songs I could play that could go with this song, and they're all Rihanna. Okay, 38 Rihanna songs. <laughs> That's the name of the podcast. <laughs> Welcome to Thirty Eight Rihanna Songs. Okay, so what's the what's what's the Rihanna song that you starting with? What am I starting with? Right. Uh, what is the occasion? It's a graduation party because that's everybody's a graduation right now. party. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm not starting with cocky or a uh, rude boy at the graduation party. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna probably start with uh, red. Hair, loud Rihanna. That's that's my favorite Rihanna. Okay. So I'm probably gonna start right here. Okay. If I'm if I'm doing the uh, graduation party, because then I'm getting everybody fist bumping while they holding a the, plate. Do the kids do that? Do the kids know <laughs> I don't about? I think the kids are doing. Do they, this was fist a pumping. great fist bump song. I. I've never fist pumped in my life. No? You never fist bump? And then pass it to the other hand and then fist bump and then cross body fist bump? <laughs> no? You never? No, Rob, I fist pump oh, is not really, man. that's not, I've the never been in my, I've never know? been in my Pauly D bag. You never, <laughs> Jersey what Shore did it up? Me? Now I'm gonna do that in LA. Mar <laughs> Marie in LA fist pumps. In New York, we mm -mm. <laughs> my arms are like this. Oh man, I that fist bumping era, that was that was a thing. But that that's when the these Rihanna songs, the Rihanna fist bump, all went together. I was I love finding dances that were out and associating them with other songs that didn't go with the dance. Okay. Like, okay, so when the Smurda, Bobby Smurda was out, mm -hmm. like that is a good song to do that dance to, right? Boom, 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 boom. 
To do what? The fist pump? The Smyrna, the Smyrna dance. Oh, um, about a week ago? About a week ago, yeah. Hot brother is what the radio would call it. <laughs> it was hot N-word asterisk Igor. <laughs> but um, I don't even know if I have this song. Uh, Dang. Actually, I don't know. What's, okay, what's 0 to 100 by Drake called? Is it called 0 to 100? What's the what's the um chorus? I go zero to a hundred real quick. Real quick, real fucking quick. Uh I don't know what that's called. Is that on, yeah. on Take Care? No, it's a like one one off. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what album what the name of the song is. Oh, it's the numbers. The numbers. There we go. You gotta put in the numbers sometimes. Wow. Rob is sitting here. There you go. Hey. <laughs> Are you still love to do the smurder dance to zero to one hundred the whole time? Nick would just be doom moving doom. around the whole time. That's a really good song, actually. Zero to one hundred. What kind of microphone? Uh, what kind of headphones are these? Because the songs are coming through real crisp. Do do does Dr. Dre use these? What? I don't. I don't know. Nah, I these think not the Dr. Dre ones. A, these are like What's professional the podcast the ones. Audio Technique mm -hmm. Technica. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to read it. The, Send this us podcast some bread is sponsored by for them. the ad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Audio Technica, send us some bread for the ad. Thank you. So, do you have any guesses what this podcast is? What What's the one rule? Although I kind of broke it a little bit. You kind of You kind of broke it a little bit. Yeah, I already kind of broke it a little bit. I don't know what it is, Rob. I feel like. You just playing songs and we're doing dances together. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time, the first time we've danced on this podcast. Really? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't it's, know. You know I, a podcast is an audio experience, so normally the dancing. I'm trying to figure out what it is, but I'm a very, I'm a very oblivious person. So okay. if something is happening, I'm All probably right. missing it. You got eight minutes. Eight minutes to figure it out. Oh, that's right. It's only a, it's only a fifteen minute podcast. No, no, no. The podcast is longer than that. Oh, but the first like, fifteen why? minutes until we get off the ground, and then people are like I watch the show all the time. I know what it is. Then we're yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna play the game of people trying to figure out what the podcast is about. Mm -hmm. I got little questions that oh, I can ask. Okay. Uh, do you have a standship? Is there an artist that you're a stand of? That I stand. Yeah. Um. No, not really. Um. I don't really stand anybody. I saw that Eminem video and I was like, "That's I'd never be that." Um. Remember Stan? Hmm. Stan. The yeah, Eminem Stan. song Stan. Yeah. No. I hope you freaking dream about it. <laughs> oh, your sleep. cousin sleeps in Egypt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend's. Yeah. 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 She's yeah. jealous. She yeah. don't get it. Yeah. 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 Um. No. I don't. I don't stand anybody. But I would. Like to like Rihanna is somebody that I would want to hang out with, like I would want to smoke sure. with her. Um, she rolled up on a dude's head. Remember that at Coachella? A couple she years was ago. like on a guy's shoulders and rolled up on his bald head. I gotta learn how to roll <laughs> so I could do that because <laughs> I'd be up there like yeah, packing yeah. a bowl on someone's yeah, head. Absolutely, not the just like. <laughs> <laughs> just like grabbing it and yeah, yeah that's me um <laughs> smoking a bong on somebody's head or a pre-roll packing a cone on yeah. somebody's bald head taking I, a pre-roll out the pack absolutely i could head. definitely do that taking the <laughs> sticker off the tube um i want to see uh beyonce live whenever her next tour is i feel like i have to see her okay um because i've never seen her and i feel like she gonna retire one day and i'm gonna be like how did i never see beyonce live Beyonce is an athlete. Right. An I entertainer from head to toe. I saw her in like a, a stadium mm -hmm. where the Falcons play mm -hmm. and the lights went out. It was in between acts. It was her and Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. And she ran the length of a football field to get off stage. This is not part of the show. This is just so that she can get off stage to change. And she ran. And I was like, well, that's what football players do. Like, that is amazing. <laughs> Wait, so the stage was on one end 
And the she had to run huge. to get changed on the other side. I saw her at um, the VMAs when it was in Madison Square Garden. Mm-hmm. And she, her performance was around the entire arena. So it was like even further around than a basketball court. Mm-hmm. Like she's just, she's an athlete. She's an athlete, exactly. And she's not going to be doing this for much longer yeah. at that level. Yeah. So that's why I got to see her before she... But you never out. know. Tina Turner was like in her 70s. She I was know, still... but I got to get Beyonce, you know, while she still got all the, you know, yeah, dexterity no. and stuff. Beyonce is, is amazing. And yeah. she, yeah, no. She, she's on another level. And she should wear unitard because she's a superhero. But okay. I don't. I'm tired of seeing other people in unitards. Okay, who are you tired of? Name names. Everyone. <laughs> I watch the Billboard Awards. Everyone who wasn't a male had on a unitard. Well, this is what I think. What I, about making music requires you to be in your underwear? I think men should be in unitards when they perform. Let's that, do that. Let's, now, if it was let's everyone, if yeah. if. If they did an award show and everyone had to wear unitards, yeah. I'm for that. Tuck your junk. I'm for that. Yes, let's see it. Yeah. What their body doing? One sleeve unitard oh, for everyone. Off the I am for that. Yeah. I would I would watch award shows again if because all the performers had to wear unitards. Some of these performances, the song didn't require unitard. The like Right, the you dancing. Doing, right, you doing a ballad. Why are you wearing a unitard? Big Lotto had a unitard with cargo pockets. And I was like, what is this? It was like a unitard with see-through pants with cargo pockets. And it's like... See-through pants? See-through, glittery see-through. Okay. You know? Yeah. Like... like Sheer. Sheer, but with the sparkles in it. Mm-mm. But then the silver pockets on the side. Silver Lisa Frank cargo shorts is what you're saying. That's uh, what I'm not, not quite Lisa Frank. More like if Britney Spears' naked outfit mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. had a brother. Okay. You're bringing <laughs> us back to Toxic. Toxic Britney. Yeah, the or the uh, I can't get no satisfaction. Then it's like, oops, I did it again. <laughs> you know, that Britney. Yeah, she she got naked and then she kissed Rih- she kissed Madonna. Those are different events, right? Yeah, she had on like a a wedding dress or a tuxedo or something. It, it was like a marriage theme. I feel like for that performance. And wait, Britney had on a wedding dress. And then she took it off and had on like I don't you know what I don't then, know. it was a, yeah she had wait a, a, Christina a was a groom and Madonna was a groom or Britney was a groom and Christina was a groom because Madonna kissed Christina and no one cared no one cared <laughs> no one cared not a not a creature was stirring not even a mouse <laughs> like immediately after too it's not even like. Oh, this was later in the show. It was, was like boom, boom. The news would cut it off. Like Britney Spears and Madonna kissed. Have they gone too far? And then Christina's just standing there. And then, nope, they don't even show they it. They made my sister cook. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it was like front page of like all the newspapers and like all like the weekly magazines. I feel like it was the the Britney Spears Madonna kiss. Go back and watch that performance. And then look at Mary J. Blige's face <laughs> the whole time. I think she's sitting behind Justin Timberlake. And the whole time she looks like, what? what is this? She's giving black mom in church. <laughs> yes. Black mom yeah. at a Christmas play For where her sure. child is messing up the lines. <laughs> like, you know Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One minute on the clock. Okay. Are you going to figure out the one rule of this podcast? Um, Do you want a hint? Yes. The original name of this podcast was, was supposed to be Don't Look Up. Okay. I'm looking and up And then now. the movie, no. I'm looking up. And then the movie came out, and then we had to change the name. We didn't have to. It's, it's gonna not be like Don't Look Up. Any lawyers were involved. So what, like, the rule is I can't look anything up on my phone? Is that you the rule? You got it. Is that it? Right at the buzzer. Oh! Is that the rule? Yeah, that's it. Well, why would I? You you see, my phone is charging. What would I possibly look up? Well, it's it's. 
I have a thing where if people talk to me when they talk to me long enough, they'll be like, I don't believe that. Uh, Look it up. And so, and I hate it. It it bothers me. It bothers me because I'm full of information. Just trust me. Yeah, you know, Rob, you taught me something the other day when you were in New York about jackets and men's coats versus women's coats. Wow. Like men's jackets snap on the with the right side over and women's jackets with the left side over did you know that how did you know that (laughs) you went to fit it's an extension of the of the patriarchy you know Mm. okay (laughs) amen brother men men, (laughs) right hand dominant you know that's how our society i'm right i'm a right hand a right a right handy a right a righty exactly so why can't and your and your jacket has the left Okay, well, let me see what this jacket is talking about. What is a men's jacket? A man, I think a man died in this jacket, actually. So, a moment of silence for my my jacket. Okay. And you know what, Rob? I didn't look that up after you told me that. I've just been telling everybody that thing about well, jackets. Well, it came up because we have a friend that had a jacket that, hmm. This goes like this. I Maybe I got means. it wrong. <laughs> Maybe. Yo, look it up. No, 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 no. They are different. The men's yeah, jacket and the women's jacket are you. different. I believe you. I believe you. Yeah. But, mm, maybe Bolton was a was a woman. Or something. That's true too. That's possible. I don't know. None of this matters. Oh. <laughs> yeah, damn, Rob. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um. Wow. I figured it out. I'm very proud of myself. Yeah. Now you got another question for me? Outside or inside? It depends on the season. Okay. Right? Right? Spring, inside. summer, sheree. Spring, summer, <laughs> sheba, sheree. Fall even. Begin- beginning of fall. <laughs> Spring, summer, fall, I'm outside. Okay. Right? Okay. Unless it's too hot, then I'm inside. Got you. Right. But like, if you don't have central air, it's like, why are you inside? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Wintertime, I'm inside. Got you. Yeah. So three months out the year inside, the other nine. No, months. winter in New York is like four months. <laughs> oh yeah, no. winter like. in New York <laughs> lasted well into May when I was there. Yeah, and now this is the first warm week in New York, and I'm in LA, and it's raining here. What is this? It's it's crazy. People don't know how to act here in the rain. I know. I, I'm sorry you had to go through this. <laughs> uh. I I know that you've done all of these plane, boat, or bus. Oh, bus is on there. Why is bus <laughs> on there? Ew. Because I like I like riding the bus. Remember we took that bus to DC? And I'll never do that again. <laughs> I'll never do I will say I used to roast the bus, like the city bus in New yeah. York. And then when the pandemic happened, I didn't take the, the subway for a full year. And now I like the bus. They got Wi Fi, they got big ass windows, but they got not Wi Fi. Like, yeah. USB port. Right, but not tap. not I'm not talking about a mega bus. I'm talking about like a you know, like a B sixty five. Yeah. You know what I mean? That well, bus I'm I'm cool with. If you're gonna go Brooklyn to Brooklyn, right. you need the bus. I'm not going and I'm not going that far. I'm going I could look. I could, if I squint I could see Trader Joe's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, so but what what was it? Plane, bus, train, automobile? Boat. Oh boat. Should oh. I add train? You should have train. You should. Okay. Because I took the train to Boston because I had shows there last weekend. Mm-hmm. And I just felt like, you know, like an explorer or something. Like Lewis and Clark. I but felt. it takes so long. It does. But when I was in Europe, you know, I'm out here with my passport and stuff. Okay. When I was All in right. Europe, I took the train from Paris to Switzerland. And that's a nice train. First of all, it's like a bullet train. You know, you looking at the hills. There's sheep grazing. You high. It was just a good train ride. <laughs> I don't think the weed high. comes with it. Well, also, you should you should be high. Is weed legal in France or Switzerland? Doesn't matter. Wherever <laughs> I'm at, <laughs> wherever I'm at, it, there's weed with me. So, I got you. You know okay. what I mean? Um, I bought pre-rolls with me on that trip and my vape pen. And I smoke on airplanes before. So what? literally, weed is, wherever I'm at, weed is it. My buddy. <laughs> my buddy. Wherever I go, we Wait, goes. wait, wait. On a, how do you on do an that airplane. on a plane? A vape? What are you talking about? Oh. You just sneak it. But they on the announcements, they say... They say a lot no of things. Va- they say no vape. They- they- 
Rob, <laughs> Rob, when you fly, you put your phone on airplane mode? Yes. Every time? Yes, or else we're going to crash. Well, I I haven't put my phone on airplane <laughs> mode in years, baby. Are you serious? Yes. I'll be texting while we take off, and then I'll be like, ah! And then I'll put it down. You, you don't. Know. You don't. You're not scared that Air Force is gonna come aboard the plane and take you away because your phone is interrupting. No. If anything, I should be afraid that like my text is gonna like mess with like the lasers or the sonar of the plane. I don't know how planes fly, but um, it hasn't happened yet. So <laughs> God is good. <laughs> you gotta use the. You have to. You have to buy the Wi-Fi. No. From the airline, no. and you have to put your plane on. It. That's why you have airplane mode. Airplane mode is so that you can charge your phone faster. If you put your plane, your <laughs> phone on airplane mode, it charges quick. Yes, that's what it's for. Because when you land, you need to be able to communicate to people. Mm. Like I just started texting with the Wi-Fi while I'm on a plane. I used to like put my phone on airplane mode. And either, if I'm not listening to it, turn it off. The turn whole entire off. plane ride. Wow. So you land and you got all these notifications? Yes. And I've been in the air like, okay, uh, when Solange in, in the elevator, I was on a plane. Uh, when the tickets came out for the Outcast reunion, I was on a plane. Um, when Kobe died, when Pop Smoke died. I was on a plane, like missed all it that. Sounds Just like you landed should stop taking to planes. a different world. It, because whenever you fly, something bad happens. You are the reason why these people keep dying. No, that's not true. Oh my God, that's not true. Rob, that's what the podcast is about. No, Rob no, is uh, Rob no. Rumpelstiltskin cursed you. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, I was on a plane when Paul Walker died. Uh, I, le- I had just landed in L.A. and I opened my phone and everybody was like, what? And I was like, you know, I I, I only saw like a couple of the Fast and the Furiouses. Cause I, I, I come from a different era where they tell you to put your Game Boy up because, hey, we're the plane is landing. Put, put all your, your Game Boy up? Yeah, put it, everything up. The handheld? Yes. That's not even using Wi-Fi. They used to tell everybody to put everything away. Mm. Like, when you're landing, everything away. Like, no matter how big or small it was. Mm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So you're holding your baby in your seat there. Like, you got to put that baby you up. You put that baby, put that baby in the up. overhead. <laughs> if it doesn't fit under the seat. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't fit, it don't ship. <laughs> fries, tots, or sweet potato fries? Oh, beach. It's fries. And it's waffle fries. Wow. Waffle or curly fries. fries. Okay, curly fries. Yeah. Tots? No. Tots is for like like free school lunch kids. And I was one of those kids, but you know, I'm I'm beyond that now. Tots are great. Tots are like, I gotta be in the right. Where would Napoleon Dynamite be without Tots? Oh, I, I didn't really watch that movie. Oh man. That... And he was weird. So if he eaten Tots, I definitely shouldn't be eating Tots. Shout out to Bill Hader friend of the show um, <laughs> is that napoleon dynamite yeah that's his real name yeah bill Hader, the guy from saturday night live <laughs> john heater <laughs> <laughs> barry you talking about barry but shout out to <laughs> the heaters and the haters <laughs> make your haters your motivators <laughs> all right do you have a pet peeve like something that i really don't like Mm-hmm. What's your pet peeve? My pet peeve, people looking up stuff that I say. Okay. That's why I made this entire podcast. Okay. To force people to talk to me without looking stuff up. Okay. Okay, here's a pet peeve. When men call women females. Females! You know, a lot of, you know, your podcast brethren. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they uh, 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 uh. Exactly. These females don't know that I need this, to, that. I don't like okay. that. Okay. Now, I've been told that the reasoning for this is that females is not uh, species specific. Female sounds like a dog. Like, you and like so females could be any species and it's not specific to humans. And that's why that's demeaning, right? I don't know if it's demeaning or not. I just think it's dumb. You could call. I'd rather you call me that lady, that lady over there. And I don't think that I'm a lady. I feel like I'm a, you know, I'm a, 
I'm a miss, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a ma'am. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, female is just like, I, I can tell who you are based on what you call women. And if you say the word female, then I feel like that means you listen to Kevin Samuels, you, <laughs> you not picking up the check, you, you know, you going Dutch, um, you know, you got a hole in your sock. People who okay. say female, it, it's like a very specific type of person. I, okay, I, see, I feel like in our in our culture mm. the guys that say females are reformed guys that used to use the b word <laughs> and so they're like every time they say female it's like well this is way better than what i used to say mm, it's feeling kind of like a lateral move it's a lateral move i don't i don't kind know about of. that i feel like it's less harsh it's definitely it's less not, harsh but it's, it's, it's scientific but you're not a scientist. What if you you refer work at PC Richard and Son and you calling women females? What if you are? I I try not to, but I do slip because mm. I I did listen to a lot of Lil Wayne in my youth. So and I he do, says females. Yeah, that's where I got it from. I got it from Lil Wayne. Well, if Lil Wayne say it, that's how you know you shouldn't be saying <laughs> it. That right there is. Uh. 101 English 101 if if it's in his duolingo you shouldn't <laughs> be saying it babe Lil Wayne has taught me a lot like I I started saying Ante Tacumpo because Lil Wayne rapped it and it was like if he can rap it I can say it Ante Tacumpo Tupo who is that a basketball player that's uh, Giannis's last name. Uh, he said, I got a Greek freak. I call it Ante Tacumpo. Ante and I was Kumpo. like, you know what? If he can rap it, I, <laughs> I should be able Greek to say I got a Greek freak. I call her Ante Tacumpo. Hilarious. Yeah. Bars. Big Bad Wolf by Lil Wayne. That's what the air horn should have been. <laughs> I gotta get this for my everyday life. Yeah, I need those sounds on my phone for like you should when I'm out in the and about and somebody does something crazy on the bus. Yeah, unless you don't want to bring attention to yourself on the bus. Well, the bus is not someplace you want to be popular. I'll say that. <laughs> you cool on the bus? You really want to blend in on the bus? Yeah, you just want a seat. <laughs> I'm just trying to <laughs> take my ass back to the house. That's said. <laughs> that's it I feel high right now but I don't think that I smoked yeah I think I'm just tired do you ever think about other dimensions what are the Marie's doing okay. in another dimension so did you see that movie everything all at once at the same time uh, or whatever the hell that movie was not called not yet I'm sorry I'm a bad person no 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 you should watch it I think you'll it's enjoy bubbling. it it's bubbling everyone's talking about it it's hot really I yeah. feel like no one's talking oh, about out it. Out here, it's it's oh, it's oh, lit out here. Oh, yeah. and you haven't seen it because you you like anti what what the crowd is doing. I just you know my my movie buddy's not up on game. I just uh you know I got a lot of moving parts. I <laughs> you know I don't have a good excuse. No, you don't. <laughs> anyway, um, I saw that movie in theaters. Um, but I I do think. Like, the older I get, the more I think about maybe other dimensions. Like, sometimes I think while I'm doing something and no one can see me, I'm like, what if time travel has been invented and there's somebody who came back to this time and they're watching me and they're, like, invisible right now? Mm. But I think I'm alone. So then now when I'm alone, mm. I feel like I still got to be kind of like, <laughs> I don't so know. So you think in the future... yeah. You are so important that people yes. from other yes. times Maybe are going I'm the, back I'm the, and like, I got to see her sleep. No, 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 not sleep, man. <laughs> I'm on a toilet maybe and they coming in to see me. That's or what they, they want to see. We got to see how she used to wipe. I don't know. I have no idea, Rob, but sometimes when I'm alone, I feel not, like someone is maybe watching me. Not when me. you're doing cool stuff. Not when you're on, no. on TV. Not when no. you're on stage. When I'm on TV, people, everyone's watching me on TV. Yeah. Well, not everybody, but you know. The people, my but mom and dad. they are going back to see you just but be maybe, a human being. But maybe they don't, maybe in the future time travel exists, but you can't pick where you land. Oh. And you just land here and I'm picking my nose. Or whatever I'm oh. doing. Oh. Do what you saying. pick your nose? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> what I look like. I you? mean, I don't talk about it, but I never stop. What? Started at four. You never, never stop picking your nose. Never stop. <laughs> 
So do you get a lot of nosebleeds? No, I I know I know how to like, I know when to chill. I never OD'd. Yeah, right, right. You never OD'd. I only dosed. <laughs> you microdosing. <laughs> yeah, I microdosed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because you get one warning. You get one that's a little on the on the red side of things, and it's like I'm, I'm not the, the red game. wedding boogers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I don't I don't run red noses. I don't run red noses. Shut <laughs> up, Rudolph. Um, yeah, so that's why I, I think about that. Like somewhere, somewhere, mm-hmm. something. Maybe there is another me out there, but you know, she's white. If I could, if going back in time and being invisible, that is interesting. It's, it feels like a movie that I should write, right? Yeah. You go back in time, but you get, don't pick where you land, and you the people can't see you, you. And people can't see you. Yeah. Yeah. Or what if it's like some Oculus stuff where they can see, they sent something back here. They can't send a, a person. They can send eyes. They can send stuff that sees. Right, right. Because maybe in the future, that's how they learn. They're not reading books. Mm. All the kids are sitting in class and they're like, well, this is a history lesson. This is what they did. This is what they did. And we're wa- they're watching us right now. Being that inconsistent. Is right? It's yeah. giving f- this uh, trademarked. Don't uh uh-uh, uh don't do that. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Pat and pens in or whatever. Um, what's the first thing you ever thought of? The first thing I the ever The first thing you ever like rem- first thing you remember. One of my earliest memories. I was in, like, pre-K or kindergarten, you know? Mm-hmm. And my mom sent me to school, and I this is, it, it's crazy how clearly I remember this. So I was in, I think I was four. I was four or five years old. I and remember four, too. I know plenty of people that don't remember kindergarten. I don't remember yesterday, but I remember <laughs> the day that I'm saying right now. And my mom sent me to school in this, like, white striped romper, right? So you mm-hmm. know what a romper is, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Well, you know, some men don't be knowing. Uh, you know, I wore a romp him uh, once or twice. A romp him. You don't remember this? I vaguely remember robbing a romp him. It was like a big thing. I was like, I got to figure out how to get one before everybody else. And so then I got one and then I wore it. What color was it? It, had, it, it, had, was, it was a black. pattern? It was black. It was like black denim. And it was like... <laughs> Oh, romp him shorts mm-hmm. and then the shirt part mm-hmm. and then but um i got it off ebay and it had a big like u zipper on the butt okay like for, a... so that i guess in case you need to like take a dump or whatever <laughs> so they could change your diaper yeah and oh man people hated that people hated that zipper in the back the zipper in the back is what uh the people hated not the actual romp him though I think people wanted it to fit a little better. It was a little <laughs> tight. <laughs> Rob, <laughs> you get the wrong size romp him, and your butt is unzipped, and you thought people were going to like the no, fit? No, my butt was never unzipped. Oh, my God. My butt was zipped. And you and you're probably picking your nose in that romp him. You are gross. <laughs> I wore it on the train. I wore it on the train from Harlem. To the creek, so Harlem to Long Island City, Queens. Oh my God! And yeah, you the looks like on a Saturday, and the looks I got when I was walking around in Harlem with this freaking romping on, <laughs> bruh, <laughs> bruh. Is that a sound that you have? Is you have a bruh? I don't have. To. <laughs> That's not what I. Said. <laughs> ooh, do you have like a like an audience like um like a Jerry oh, Springer that. like That's a good, ooh? I need that. Yeah. All right, don't worry. You know I do voiceover. I'll, I'll record it on a... I'll lay some track down on wax. Yeah. I'll you'll, lay my vocals. You'll do stacks of, of you saying, ooh. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll do yeah, it. No. Hell <laughs> That nigga gay. <laughs> ooh. Yeah. You got I'll very specific. Them. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, could yeah. use all you those. You could use but... those. We could, yeah, it's inconsistent, but consistently <laughs> problematic. Um, <laughs> what was the question? Was there a question? Your first memory. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So my mom had me in this romper, <laughs> d- Rob, and uh, <laughs> I wanted to wear a dress that day. And I remember, you know, the little kid scissors the, that are, like, fat and don't really cut. Mm-hmm. I tried to cut up the romper leg. And the scissors weren't really working. And I was like, this is hard. I think I, I made, like, a 
a couple millimeters mm-hmm. of a cut. And then I forgot about it. And like weeks later, my mom was doing laundry or something, and she saw and she said, "What happened here?" And I was like, "Oh!" And like I had to. I don't remember. I lied. I'm sure I lied. I used to you be a liar. You lied? I used to be a liar. You might have got someone arrested. What? No. Someone tried to cut my child's crotch out, and I'm not <laughs> leaving this school until I find out what is going on. I yeah. found the incisions. Yeah, my mom is Liam Neeson. <laughs> <laughs> I will turn this whole school around. Mama, I will not rest. My mom was like, I will find them, and I will kill them. <laughs> And I'm just, you know, eating snack in the back seat. I'm eating Dunkaroos in the back seat. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. That's my earliest memory. So I, I think I was four. Yeah. 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 I remember we were in line to like leave preschool, mm-hmm. and you, um, you could get a, a what was the lollipops with the gum in them? Tootsie Pop. No, that's the one with the chocolate. Blow pop. Blow pop. You can get a blow pop if you can tell them uh, two plus two. And I remember, like, in my head, putting it together, like, using my fingers, and then I got it. And I was like, I'm about to get this blow pop. And that was, like, the day I, like, realized I like math. Like, I could do math. You like math. I used to love math. I was a beast at math. Okay, so like you did like AP algebra? I did AP calculus. Okay. But uh that's that's when I fell out of love with math. Well, you know I mean. <laughs> but I I think part of it was just I I wasn't focused and math was so natural to me mm-hmm. that I never studied math. You were just solving for X. I would just you would just show up in quadratic yeah, equations. Yeah, mm. and so then that was the first class where it was like you got to study math, and I was like, oh, I'm good. When I was in high school, I had a photographic memory. Like when I was a, actually like even before that, I had I never had to study. I was always messing up the curve. People hated me. Yeah, what? Everybody would be a, failing, and I'd be. What happened to your? Did you smoke away your probably, photographic memory? Probably. But also, like, I never learned how to, st- like, I never had study skills. So I didn't, I never studied. And then when I got to college, it was like, oh, I'm just cramming this information into my brain tonight for tomorrow. I'm not retaining any of this stuff. And you did well in college? No. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. Um. So do you, like, remember lines well? Like, do you remember uh, I'm a visual well? person now, so I have to write it out. <clears throat> I have to see it and then write it in order okay. to remember it. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was, that was me. I would, like, take notes, take notes, and then if I – I needed, like, six hours of studying. Six to hours. To really, like, nail it before t- – just total. Damn. Yeah, no, I would be taking the test, and I could remember – where in my notebook I had written the thing that I was trying to remember. Um, mm. Yeah. Wow. Damn. It's weed. Curse you, weed. Weed is the devil. But it's your buddy, and you take it everywhere. Yeah, you I do. My, also my best friend. Yes. On planes, <laughs> even though they tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. If so the F- you don't. If the F- FDA? Who's, who's the plane people? FTA? TSA? No. Isn't FTA something? I don't know. Federal traffic? Oh, maybe. TSA? No, TSA don't care about me. It's fine. Do you believe in aliens? Mm, I believe in Alien Gonzalez. Remember him? Remember Alien Gonzalez? I remember him. Yeah, that was a a moment in time. (laughs) Big moment, pre-9-11. Yeah, yeah. We all cared about this kid. The Cuban kid. got over here from Cuba. Well, because what's the rule? Once you touch the American soil, if you Cuban, you could stay. So they just they were just trying to, like, throw the kids on the beach so Is they could stay. Is that the rule? That's, that's the rule for Cubans. If what you kind are... of tag-based immigration <laughs> rule Yeah, do but we only, have... only Cubans. One, they... two, three based on me if you're Cuban. Yeah, if you're Haitian and you land here, they're like, no, we're going we gonna to send you. <laughs> Turn around. No, you can't pee here. <laughs> so that's is di- the difference. Um, do I believe in aliens? I feel like there's got to be something else out there, yeah. right? 
if the universe is as big as they say it is, you know, I haven't I haven't done the calculations. I don't know how deep or wide it is, but um, yeah. It's got to be something else out there. Big fear, aliens, the only thing they know about us is like Godzilla movies. So they're coming like ready for battle with giant lizards. And then they get here and they're like, oh, y'all, oh, oh, y'all are crazy. <laughs> y'all goofy, man. We thought, goofy. Yo, those we are your arms? <laughs> shooting out lasers. And we would have been here had yeah. we known. <laughs> Y'all was playing around with me. Oh. Yeah, but I also feel like maybe the aliens will n- not get here in time because the Earth is going to, you know, implode in it on itself. Maybe they, that's when they come. Yeah. And we're like, oh, y'all are terrible. Late. Y'all could have been helped. And they're like, And they're hey. like, helped. <laughs> 2020 yeah. was wild, wasn't it? Yeah. We had the cure right here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite snack from when you were a kid that you can't stand now? Ooh. Ooh. There's a lot of things. Uh, I used to love a peanut butter and jelly sandwich when I was a kid, and I stopped eating them as an adult. Now, every once in a while, I'll crave one, and I'll be like, these are delicious. Peanut butter with the jelly on the other side? Beach <laughs> cut diagonal style? Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's, that's like the... The mm-hmm. seasoning, the way you cut it. Um, I also used to love Cinnamon Toast Crunch and like as a kid would eat it every single day. And one day I woke up and I could not eat it anymore. There was a comedian in Atlanta, uh, David Perdue, and he would, when he first, like when we first met, he was like, yo, I just want to pick your brain. I just want to know like what's your routine? What kind of cereal do you eat? Blah, blah, blah. And... He wanted to know these things because he thought you were funny? Yeah. He thought if he ate funny, he'd be funnier. And I told him that the greatest... David Perdue's a funny comedian. He's great. Great. Love it. Shout out to David. But um, I I told him I eat CTC. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's the the best cereal. But I yeah, I I don't eat it anymore. I'm grown. I had it the other day at Sydney's house. We we had Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What? On on Tuesday. (laughs) Yeah. How was it? Well, it was with almond milk. It don't hit the same when it's not the milk that's like, you know, bad for you. Yeah. Um, but I'm an oat, oat milk person now, so no cereal tastes the same, so I don't really eat it that much. Mm. Um, but I really liked, um, damn, was it the Reese's Pieces cereal? No, it was the Reese's Cocoa Puffs? Puffs. No, it was Cocoa Puffs. Remember those? Mm, yeah. And I was at my house alone. My family was out, and I was eating Cocoa Puffs, and there was this, there's this mirror in the hallway. And I was dancing in the mirror. And when I <laughs> tell you, a Cocoa Puff got caught in my oh, throat. No. And I'm making eye contact with myself while I'm choking on oh, it. Oh, no. And I was like, I'm in here by myself. They're going to find me, literally, dead body in the hallway. And I was like, this is how I die. That's... You would get a Netflix doc. If you yeah, died like the, the staircase. from a... From a <laughs> An incident with Cocoa Puffs, no one would believe that, and they would investigate. There would be conspiracy websites and <laughs> theories, like, clearly an invader came in right, right. and put a Cocoa Puff as evidence. No, they're like, No what? one dies from Cocoa Puffs. They're like, the, the Cocoa Puff isn't what killed her. If you zoom in on the images, there's a laceration. Like, yeah, they would be, like, looking yeah, at stuff that's not yeah. there. Um, yeah, but I... Stop eating that cereal after that. <laughs> How do you feel about soggy cereals? It's it's bad. Bad. It's so blasphemous. no Cocoa Pebbles? Oh, I never... I didn't grow up on Cocoa Pebbles. Okay. Fruity Pebbles, I never had those cereals. All I right. did eat Rice Krispies, and you know, you listen to them Snap, Crackle, Pop, and then you're like, well, we gotta throw this away now. They... <laughs> They talking too much. <laughs> the bowl is full of spit. So, yeah, you remember that. It was like, snap, crackle, pop. Yeah. Yeah. Pop rocks? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, you like. What is it doing to you, though? Pop rocks? Yeah. Um, like something that just pop. Have we done the research? Have we done the science? <laughs> we need to see this. We need to see the, the, the research, friend. I'm just saying. It's just diabetes it's on popping. your tongue. Yes. It's that's you if you listen to Pop Rocks while it's making that noise in your mouth, it's saying, You're gonna lose your foot. That's what it's 
whisper. You're gonna lose your foot. You're gonna lose your foot. You're gonna lose your foot. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna ask one more question. Okay. Whew. Night or day or morning? What's the difference between day and morning? Like afternoon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Again, just depends on the season. I guess I should change it to night or afternoon or morning. Yeah, or morning, day, morning, noon, or night. Why you start with night? Did you just come up with that? <laughs> yes. Morning, noon, or night? Yeah, I came up with that. Wow. It's new. That's a... <laughs> Morning, That's a new noon, one. or night. You've never heard this? That is great. You took AP calculus and you never heard of morning, noon, or night? You said night or day or morning. You can tell I morning, wrote the question. This is a very... Were you high when you wrote that question? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Even people have answered it. <laughs> You're the first one to be like, I'm like, I don't think that's right. I'm like, that's wrong. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? That's the type of person I am. Like, I've always been that. Like, somebody will say something and I'll be like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, even as a kid when I was cutting up my cooch with the lefty scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mm. She put me in this, but this is wrong. <laughs> um, okay, so it depends, friend. Okay. It depends. Like, in the summertime when the sun sets... At 9 p.m. Mm-hmm. and you in the park still mm-hmm. night, you know, yeah, nighttime. Uh, but like a nice spring day, like when it's like between spring and summer, and it's like 68 degrees, and you just making your way downtown day, <laughs> <laughs> and then morning, like after I don't know, after like it snows a lot before the plows come through and before kids start like, you know making dirty snow angels and these dogs start peeing in the snow morning okay untouched so clean you're, snow you're all three yeah but you that know. clean snow is fun yeah it is fun clean snow you just be like wow i'm glad i ain't gotta go outside today it's like a toy but then also it's like i know i'm not gonna have to do anything oh <laughs> that you know part. it's only bad if you're if your fridge empty pantry empty and now it's like, well, now I have to, I have to go now because it's going to well, get nasty well, later. Well, that's why you got to have a mom that calls you and says, are you ready for the snow? And then you be like, snow. And now you yeah. online fighting people for bread at Target or what, TJ, TJ's, Trader Joe's. Love the local New York news when it snows. Stormwatch. <laughs> and they send the guy out in the truck and they're, they're always sending people outside to report on and it's like it's snow. It's been the same since the beginning of time. Yeah. But they got a report on it. And, and they're outside. And they're like, yeah, listen, Diane, we're out here. Uh, they're expecting uh, four inches. And then whenever they expect a lot of snow and people panic, it's never that much snow. And it will be it will be news all day long. They'll get rid of everything. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> no view. No, no, no the judge view, shows. those shows still no, be on. No, they don't. No, we have Stormwatch, to cover. Stormwatch, Stormwatch is on Watch. at like eight and nine, and then it's after. like sports, SNL, Stormwatch. <laughs> That's it. Anything else is expected. They not bumping Kelly I'm and sorry. Ryan. I'm sorry, whoever is replacing Wendy Williams right now, Sherry you're Shepherd. bumped. Sherry Shepard. Um, damn. Yeah. Stormwatch, but I also don't watch the news, so I just have a mom that tells me. You the got local you news in New York is so crazy. They have it's wild. Okay, so News Twelve has a an Instagram, and apparently the posts there are crazy. I bet. Yeah. Every day I would watch the news that I could when I lived in New York, and it was like, this is nuts. <laughs> I bet you people say that in Atlanta because Atlanta's a lot of Atlanta like, feels like it's crazy. There was news a there shooting too. at Linux Mall today. Like it's very, you know, Atlanta uh, feels like the capital of like a black eyewitness too, like a bad slash good black eyewitness. Oh, on the news. they have a lot of fun yeah. editing those clips yeah. of, of eyewitnesses in Atlanta. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah. Is that um, who was the the home intruder? It was like. Um, they made nah, a song. that was in Alabama. Ah, uh, well, Alabama. We're Atlanta. climbing through your window, snatching yeah. your people up. You don't yeah. have to come and confess. We looking for you. We, we gonna, gonna find, find you. you. We fa- you are dumb. You could you run are and really tell dumb that for real, homeboy. They made we a song. We found your T-shirt. Yeah. We gonna find you, <laughs> homeboy. 
<laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Way they put all that in the news. Have you you ever seen the leprechaun? What's the leprechaun? Where the uh the, <laughs> there's like um a bunch of people that claim to see a leprechaun in this tree, uh-huh. and then they had an artist rendering, and the artist rendering was literally just like a kid drew a hat, two eyes, a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> they put it in the tree. <laughs> they put it on the news. Like it's so funny. And then there's a guy, and he's like, "If y'all want to see the leprechaun, let me hear you say yeah." And then everybody's <laughs> like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Atlanta news, I'm sure, is better than New York news. New York news, you know, we we talk hard and we, you know, kids sound like little geniuses on the news. Mm, I've, seen some, I've like, seen some dumb kids on the news. Nah, I've seen some kids. They that, be stuttering and they they got that one big tooth and it's like, nah. why? Who who put it? Who is his representation? Take this baby off the news. They know so much. Mm-mm. They know nothing, Jon Snow. Marie, do you have anything that you want to tell the people? Anything that you want to promote from the future? No, <laughs> I don't. Um. Or the past. I, I didn't mean it like, I, I just meant it like anything you want. Listen, just come find me on Instagram. Okay. Uh, my Instagram is Reezy, R-E-E-E-Z-Y, three E's. People be forgetting it. It's three E's. Three E's. Actually, let me not do that. My nails look crazy. Um, And, uh, you know, you can come see me in New York. <laughs> Bing bong. Bing bong. Come <laughs> see <laughs> oh, I felt that in my uterus. Play that again. Oh. <laughs> I felt that in my uterus, Rob. What is that? I don't Ooh. know. I feel like it's that, that moment in a movie trailer where everything Stops. goes crazy. Yeah, yeah, or they like push all the way out. Mm-hmm. Or they zoom mm-hmm. all the way in. Oh, that's nice. Play one more time. Met Sally. <laughs> or did Sally meet Harry? <laughs> I'll have what she's having. <laughs> Every night. That's the sound that they that played right before the Titanic sang in the trailer. <laughs> He's like, in a world. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, everybody is wet right now listening to that. That's um, whoo, that's ASMR for the fallopian tubes because baby. Anyway, come see me in New York. Come see me on Instagram. Um, Rob, thank you for having me on your podcast. Of that course. I figured the rule out. Yes, of. the inconsistent podcast. Follow us, like us, subscribe, do what you do, and then unfollow us. Rewatch us. Yeah, yeah. Follow then unfollow. Do what you need to do, babe. Okay. I'm glad I did this. Um. <laughs>